another one from Toby Hooper. How about that? After making movies about psychopaths and ghosts, this time he takes on the topic of spontaneous combustion. Now that refers to a series of real-life unexplained cases where it's been said that people have spontaneously erupted into flame. It's pretty damn funny to think that the human body can just blow itself up. But if it is true, then I wonder how accurately this movie portrays it. Sam is an ordinary guy who's learning of his terrible origin. His parents were working on some kind of nuclear experiment in the 1950s. Shortly after he was born, they both had a spontaneous combustion, becoming human flamethrowers and reducing their bodies to ash and bones. Now, Sam has grown up and starting to have fiery accidents of his own, especially whenever he's mad. Talk about being hot-headed. Even when he's on the phone, nobody's safe from him. Personal calls. Listen, you idiot! I don't think this is as important as your lousy snap. That's John Landis right there with one hell of a cameo. Sam's played by Brad Dourif, who you might recognize as the voice of Chucky. Here, he's not a villain, but just a tragic man who can't control what's happening to him. His amazing performance saves an otherwise mediocre movie. Look at the expression in his face. You can feel the intensity, the frantic turmoil that agonizes within the disconsolate immoralization of the soul. That is the face of a man who explodes and shoots fire. His girlfriend is the one who suffers the most. You just don't want to be around this guy. Oh, he's got the hots for you. He just called me, Lou, and fire came out of the phone. He called me and fire came out of the phone. This guy is a ticking time bomb. Now that's a common phrase, but this bomb happens to be nuclear. Fire! God damn you! Ah! 